Hi guys, welcome back to another Overthrow Disc Golf video. Today, we are going to bring you a sequence, it's kind of a drill, on just max motion. We're gonna put you into all of the positions that you need to have a successful disc golf throw. So hopefully you walk away from this feeling things you've never felt before. <laughs> About disc golf. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is exactly what it sounds like. We're gonna go through a couple steps here and we're gonna go through each motion to its full extent so that you could feel what's happening in your disc golf throw when you do it correctly. So, first step is here. We're gonna go with our lead leg. For me, it's right leg. This is the step before the X step. And I want you to step with it and I want you to pump your hip up as high as you can pump it. So you should feel a stretch right here. Will you feel this every disc golf throw? No. We're going through what the maximum range of motion is here for ultimate effect. And this is something I talked to my buddy John at Ace at Disc Golf about. You guys should check him out. Link in the description below. Now, we're going to do the X step and I want you to keep this hip popped up. I've got this disc stacked up here. If you have a pump, you can put a pump in here as well. I will show it stack, cross, hip, up as high as you can keep it up. This is gonna help us keep the X step small. You cannot take a big X step if your hips really raised up here. We're still looking forward. Hip up X. Now, this step, arguably the most important. We're going to stride, watch first, then do. Watch first, then do. We're gonna stride and we're going to coil our upper body back. For me, it feels like my right shoulder is going into my left hip almost. So I'm coiling the upper body back, keeping my left foot in place. If you're a lefty, it's going to be your right foot. Keeping my left foot in place and I'm trying to get this right shoulder above this left hip. My disc is going to be here. I'm going to try to see how much coil I can get, how much of my back I can show you. I'm letting my lead foot rotate and coil back here as well. So now I feel right here in my left hip a nice stretch. Notice my disc is not back here behind me. I've stretched backwards here, coiled backwards here with the upper body. Next, once you reach this position, we're going to weight shift and it looks like this. Boom. We're just going to shift over into a balanced position. Make sure that you don't go here and twist like this. That's not what I'm asking you to do. So try again. Here, shift. <coughs> Third time's the charm? Nope. Box it up. Box it up. I've also brought my left hand in here as well for the box. The head is down here, and now my hip is coming up. Throw out, keep the head down, keep this off hand down. We don't want the head to go up because then the shoulders open up. So now we're here, and now follow through. Do this slowly, methodically. We want you to get these positions perfect. Now this again is the max range of motion that you would have. You might find during this time that you can't get all the way back here, that you can't show me whatever logo may or may not be on your back because you just don't have that mobility. That's something you can work on with someone who is a professional in that field. Not me, I'm just a coach, all right? but it's really, really important. If you can't get here, you're probably not gonna throw as far as Simon as I. You're probably not going to anyways, but uh, you're gonna find out how large is your actual range of motion, and you can start targeting those different areas, start doing yoga or something, I don't know. Got him. Got him. So again, I'm gonna go just a little more quickly. Your second time through, if you start blazing through this thing, you're never gonna get good at disc golf. Okay, just telling you right now. You need to slow down, be patient here. So we're gonna go right step, I'm pumping this hip up. I'll show it this time with a forward pump, just to be consistent, or just to cover the spectrum, All right? Hip still up, still looking forward. Here comes my coil back, stretching my right shoulder to my left hip, letting this go here, not turning both back this way, right? Full coil right here. I'm gonna weight shift, 
box up, throw out, follow through. Then you can start figuring out which of those steps you have issues with, start working on that step specifically, or you can start speeding it up your choice or the choice of your coach, whoever that is. Because uh, you could just do this all by yourself and spend way longer, or you could get some coaching. It's on you. Savage. It's on you, pal. Okay, that was the max motion sequence. Makes for a decent tutorial on the steps of a backhand. Practice at your own risk and subscribe. Bye. Peace out.